Okay, so in this video, I just want to briefly go over a search question involving expanding brackets. So firstly, we want to calculate the square root. I'll just get a bit of pen. So we want to calculate the square root of six. Take away the square root of two squared. Now, if we square something, it means we times it by itself. So we're going to do the square root of 6, take away root 2, times root 6, take away root 2. And what we're going to do is use FOIL. So FOIL means first I multiply the first term in the first bracket by the first term in the second. So I will have root 6 times root 6, which is just 6. Then I'm going to do the outside. So that means I times this first root 6, so the first term of the first bracket, by the second term in the second bracket. So I've got root 6 times minus root 2, which should be minus, because a plus times a minus is a minus, minus root 12, because 6 times 2 is 12. Now I do my inside. So I finished with the first term of the first bracket. So I'm going to take the second term of the first bracket and times it by the first term of the second bracket. Minus root 2 times root 6, which is also going to be minus root 12. Finally, I times minus root 2, so the second term of the first bracket, by the second term of the last bracket. So I have minus root 2 times minus root 2. Now, a minus times a minus is a plus, so we end up with plus now, root 2 times root 2 is 2, so I have plus 2. So what I'm going to do now is collect the number terms, if you like, together, 6 plus 2, which is 8, and I've got minus root 12, take away root 12, which is minus 2 root 12. We can leave our answer like that. You could simplify the root 12 further, but I'm happy with that. So here's one for you to try. So pause the video and have a go. And you will notice that this should end up as a whole number. So please have a go at this question. And when you're ready for the answer, press, press play. Here is the answer. So I'm going to do root 20, take away root 5, multiplied by root 20, take away root 5 first root 20 times root 20 which is just 20 outside root 20 times minus root 5 which is going to be minus the square root of 20 times 5 which is 100 so I have minus root 100 In size, minus root 5 times minus 20. Well, that's also going to be minus root 100. And you get this symmetry because we're squaring the bracket. Finally, minus root 5 times minus root 5 is plus 5. So let's do what we did before. 20 plus 5 is 25. Minus root 100 take away root 100 is minus 2 root 100. But we should know the square root of 100 is 10. So we have 25 take away 2 lots of 10. So we have 25 take away 20, which is 5. Just to really consolidate this, let's try one more that's similar. Let's try, um, let me try and think of one off the top of my head. Uh, that would be... Two. Okay, right, let's try root 18, take away root two all squared let's try this 
Okay, so root 18, take away root 2. I'm going to write this out as bracket, two brackets times together. Root 18, take away root 2 again. I need to do first, outside, inside, and last. First is going to be root 18, root 18, which is just 18. Outside is root 18 times minus root 2. Now, 18 times 2 is 36. Plus times a minus is a minus, so we have minus root 36. Inside, minus root 2 times root 18, which is minus root 36. Last, minus root 2 times minus root 2 is just plus root 2 root 2, which is 2. Let's collect together our terms. 18 plus 2, 20. Take away two lots of root 36. Right, so I have 20 take away 2 times root 36 is 6. We have 20 take away 12, which is 8. Okay, so that will be my final answer there.